What I'd like to look at today with you is using the TI application that you, we use to solve inequalities. To get to the inequality graph, for the first thing you need to do is press the apps key and it is either going to be named inequal or inequals with a Z. So you'll notice I have a lot of different applications on my calculator. So to get to the I, if you press the alpha key, then the X squared key, which right above it is an I. You can jump down to the I's and we can see the application in equals. To access it, next press enter. and then it will ask you to press any key to continue. And by pressing that key it's going to take you to a new window. So as you can see there are only a couple of keystrokes that you need to use to get to this. We have the apps button, alpha, x squared takes us to the I. We press enter to select it and then enter to begin the program. Pretty easy thing. So I'm going to clear these out so we can continue looking at the different keystrokes that we need to use. One of the first things you'll notice is across the bottom of the screen we have an equal sign, less than, less than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal. And those will be how we will graph the inequalities. So we'll start by accessing those keys. <clears throat> first you have to be position, the cursor needs to be positioned over the equal sign in the Y equals menu. And to have that symbol appear where the equal sign is, press alpha, and you'll notice above all of the soft keys or the function keys, we have the F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those are our function keys. And we will press less than in this case, and then right arrow to move to where we can enter an inequality. And in this case, I'm going to enter something simple, which will be negative one-half x. And then plus one. And we can graph this and take a look at what happens. And actually, I want to make sure it shows up in my window. So I'm going to graph it using a zoom decimal or a zoom four feature. And that will give us a nice square window. And as it graphs, you should notice a couple of different things. Number one, if you look carefully at the line, you'll notice that the line is not a continuous line like it normally is when we graph a y equals equation. So we have to remember that what we selected was a less than function. So if we think about it, all of the, li all of the points that lie on this line are equal to that inequality we selected less than so what the calculator is doing is shading below the line and telling us that all of the values that lie below the line are solutions to that inequality <clears throat> we can go back and add another inequality and then we can look at the intersection of those and in this case I'm going to select greater than or equal to so I have to go down arrow alpha F5 will give us greater than or equal to and then I can again enter my function or my inequality and for this one I'm going to use one-third X and we'll say minus one this time something simple and we can graph those And again, it's going to take a little bit of time for this to graph. So there is our first function, y less than negative one-half x plus one. 
and then the second function will come through and notice it's graphing it horizontally this time and we have the greater than or equal function so we have a couple of things going on if you look at the line and in this graph right now because of the um, pixelization and the um, line that it's graphing through it's kind of really hard really kind of hard to see the line that we're graphing so we want to clear that up and to clear that up we can use the shades function and if we use alpha and then either F1 or F2 we can select the option we'd like to see so we can shade the inequality right now we have the original shade option 3 we can look at the intersection the union or the original and I'd like to look at the intersection so again it's going to take a little bit of time to graph and again notice the shading is much nicer much more full so it's going to take a little bit more time to be able to do that and now notice also as it shades the second feature since we're looking at the intersection we're looking only at what is shared and it's erasing as it's going along leaving only those areas or that region where we have the solutions for this inequality or this system of inequalities And that is a very basic overview of the inequality grapher.